Hello, this is Isaac, and this is part four of building a registration system of React Native. Today, we will talk about navigation. So in React, we have the navigator component. And I have my boilerplate project, as you can see already. And the only thing I'm doing here is I'm calling the root component. So go ahead and create it. You need to import it also. And also go create the home component. Down below, you'll have the link to the full source code. So go ahead and extract whatever you need. I'm gonna also put a link to another article that talks about the navigation. It's more in depth tutorial because I will only touch what's relating to our registration system. So if you want more, then go ahead and take a look. It's from the Medium website. It's a pretty nice article. So let's begin. So I'm calling the root component. The root component currently has only two buttons, familiar syntax, right? So now our goal is to generate all the components for the navigation. So in this case, we need to import the navigator component. We have the initial route. This is like the home page. In this case, it's gonna be the root. And render scene, it renders the scene, right? It renders the specific component. So it can render the login scene, the register scene, and so on and so on. So let's first remove this because we don't want to insert components manually. We want to use the navigator. And I already imported it right here. Okay, so here it is. So first we need to do the initial route. It's going to be double curly braces. We're going to call it, the name is going to be root. And we're going to render the scene. Now we won't render it here. We're going to call a method. That this that render scene, we're going to bind to this. So we can just call it here, render scene. And it's going to automatically accept two objects, the route and the navigator. So the route will automatically have the route name, this name. So I can do route that name, and it will give me root. The navigator also has many methods. Among them, it has the push method, which you can use to push new scenes, and we will use it a lot. So I can do navigator.push and push the login scene or push the register scene, whatever. So I can do something like if uh, route.name equals to root, and then we simply want to return the root and we want to pass the navigator as a prop. The reason we want to pass it because if we will not pass it, navigator, if we won't pass it, we won't be able to get out of that view. We will only stay there forever. Because if I pass it as a prop, then I can just go and right here do something like this, that prop, that navigator, that push, and push another component, another view. So this is very important. And we're just gonna three more times for the other components. So we have the register. For the other views. So we register, and this is gonna be login, login, and for the last one, it's gonna be the home component. So the home component is whenever the user is successfully logging in or registering, then this is what we will present to him. We'll redirect him directly to this uh, route. So first, let's begin with the route. So currently still, uh, well, first of all, it's working, right? It's generating it through the navigation and not manually like before. But the buttons are still not working, so let's take care of that. So we have two buttons. Let's add the on press event listener. In this case, it's going to be called uh, this. It's going to call a method. We're going to call it navigate, and we're going to have to bind. The this, so the first parameter, the first argument is that this is the context of the this keyword, and we're sending it to this. But the second one, we're going to pass the name of the route. In this case, it's register. So we can just copy it and paste it right here. And this time, we're going to call it login. And let's create it. So it's uh, navigate 
it's going to accept as your route name. And remember, we're passing the navigator as a prop, so this dot props dot navigator dot push. Now, whatever I pass here, right? I'm gonna in this case, I'm gonna pass the name of the route, which is going to be going to be the route dot name. Whatever we pass in this push method, it's gonna be available in the render scene as a property of the route. So you see we're doing route.name, it's still gonna work, it's still gonna recognize it. And I, and I can pass many more. I can pass food or whatever. It will have it, I can use it. But for our purposes, at the moment, this is what we need to do. So let's make sure it's working. So if I click register, it's working. If I click log in, it's still working. This is very good. Okay. So now, let's take care first of the register component, right? So what do we want? Once the user is registering successfully, we want to take him to the home view. So let's do it. So we have here the successful handler. It's right here, and this is the access token. So let's pass the access token to make sure that it's working. This time I'm gonna call the method redirect. I'm gonna pass it the name of the view, which is gonna be home, and I'm gonna pass it the access token, okay? So let's create this method, and uh, we can create it right here on top. Redirect, we're gonna accept the route name and the access token. I'm gonna call it token in this case. And again, we have available the props navigator. So this dot props dot navigator dot push. And I'm gonna pass it the name, which is gonna be the route name. And we're also gonna pass it the prop. Now because it's a prop, and we might have many more props, we'll create another new object. In this case, we're going to call the access token. It's going to be equal to the token. Okay? Now, the question is how does the home view we're going to know about it, right? So, first, once we hit the home, we're passing the, the navigator as a prop, right? But we also want to pass the other props. So, we're going to use the rest parameter, three dots. And we're going to do route, because remember, everything is available as a property of the route. Whatever I pass through the push method, it's available. So I can do pass props. So once I do this, right, pass props, and we have here the access token. So I can do now this dot props dot access token. But before that, I have to pass the props here. The only time you need to pass the props to the constructor and to the super is whenever you want to use this.props in the constructor itself. If I want to use it here in the return only, then that's fine. I don't need to do it. Okay, so in this case, we'll do this.state.access token. So it can work. Technically, I don't have to use this state, but uh, I'm gonna use it. I can just go directly to the props, but let's use it. So, okay, it should work. Let's take a look. Let's first of all clear our console here. Let's register another one. Let's call it uh, Noel. I'm running out of names. Noel. password so if you register the user well your new token is rbd let's take a look at our website rbde so it's working right so let's rehearse what happened okay we have the index we are calling the navigator component and the initial route we are setting is going to be the root let's refresh this is the initial route and this is how we are loading it. Every view you need to load for the render scene. So since the name here is root, so we're running an if statement. If the root name is root, then return that one. 
and we are passing it as a property navigator. In the root view, we have two buttons. Once the user clicks either on register or on login, it will call the navigate method, which accepts the route name as a parameter, as an argument. And then, because the navigator is available as a prop, so this.props.navigator.push, so we, we want to push to another scene. And we're passing it the route name. Now, because whatever we pass to the push method is available, we, like we said, it's available as the property of the route right here in the render scene. So now, if we pass register, it will hit this if statement. If we pass login, it will hit this if statement, and it will load that view. Okay? So now we need to take care Oh, and also how did, again, how did this work, right? So we had the register. So once successful, we're calling the redirect method, and we're passing in the route name and the token. So the token is right here. We are declaring another object, so we want to separate it, right? So we have the view name, which is obvious, right? The route name is obvious, we're going to pass it, but if we want to pass another props, then maybe we want to pass 10, 20 props. So let's create another object. So I passed it already, and I made it available at the home view through this rest parameter. This, whatever, how many, no matter how many props we have, it will be available here. And then, well, I had to add props to the super and to the constructor. And I'm just setting the access token to be equal to this dot props, but it's going to be available as a property access token. And as you can see, it worked, right? So let's do the same thing with the login. I can use the same method exactly, actually. It's going to be the same thing. Don't repeat yourself. Alrighty. So on login, this is the successful login. So this dot redirect home. And let's pass it the access token. Okay. Let's pick one. Let's pick J at this time. Login, j at j.com, okay, login, it's 55VV, it, indeed it is. So this is the basic of the navigation that we will use, all right, it's working, it's easy again, and as you can see, once you do it once, you just copy it and paste it, because most of the task here is going to be the same in our app. We don't really need to do anything else. We already know how to redirect the user, how to navigate him. So it's pretty basic stuff, okay? So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and have a great day.